So today we will be doing about a 10-15 minute sequence focusing on the neck, the shoulders and the upper back area. So we'll start in a comfortable seated position. So if you just want to make your way down to the mat, like it can be across, they can get out in front, just whatever's comfortable for you. And we'll bring the palms of our hands to the knees when we're ready. And we'll start by breathing in through the nose, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears, and exhale out of the nose as you draw the shoulders down the back. And we'll do that a couple more times. So inhale, draw the shoulders up, and exhale, draw the shoulders down the back. One more time, inhale, exhale. And from here, bring your chin to the chest, and we'll take our right ear over our right shoulder. Start to feel the stretch down the side of the neck. And then back to centre, left ear over left shoulder. Back to centre, we'll just do that a couple more times. So right ear, right shoulder, centre, left ear, left shoulder, centre one more time. Back to centre, left ear, left shoulder, back to centre and then bring the gaze back up. And we'll take, we'll start to look over the right shoulder, come back to centre, left shoulder, back to centre and again right, centre, left, centre and then we'll bring the gaze up towards the ceiling. When you do this make sure that your shoulders don't come up towards the ears, you really want to make sure you draw the shoulders down. Then centre, chin to chest, centre, gaze up, centre, chin to chest, centre. And from here we'll start to draw little circles with the nose, starting with those circles quite small, letting those circles get bigger and bigger and bigger. And then switching directions, starting with big circles and making those circles get smaller and smaller and smaller, coming into stillness. From here bring your left hand out to the left side and drop your right ear over the right shoulder. Start to feel the stretch down the, the neck, over the shoulder, down the arm. You can lift the left hand off the floor if you like and start to flex the fingers towards the body. Perhaps taking the right hand, the fingertips of the right hand to the side of the head. Just gently deepen into the stretch there. And support the head, coming back up to centre, we'll take it to the opposite side, so right fingertips out to the side, dropping the left ear over the left shoulder. Again, you can flex the fingers in towards the body, sweep the opposite hand out and place the fingertips on the side of the head if you like. Just taking a few rounds of breath here. And supporting the head, coming back up to centre. Maybe just roll the shoulders out a little bit here. Loosen the head a little bit, just a few movements of the head. Great. And then from here, we'll plant the, front, the hands in front of us and just make our way forwards. And coming onto the balls of the feet, start to walk the hands backwards and then gently start to straighten the legs, keeping a bit of a bend here making our way into a forward fold position. The feet can either be um, next to each other with a little bit of a gap at the heels, or you can have the feet hip distance apart. Just making sure you're keeping a bit of a bend in the knees here. Dropping the head and the neck down. The hands can just dangle there if you like, or you can take opposite elbows, opposite hands. 
try and keep the back nice and straight so you might be having to bend the knees quite a bit to, to get there. And then just gently rock side to side. Maybe you might like to straighten and bend one leg at a time. And see if you can release the head and the neck. Just gently shaking or nodding yes and no. The head should just feel like a, a bit of a heavy weight here, just hanging on. And then release the arms, slowly start to make your way up to standing, stacking one vertebrae at a time, rolling the shoulders down and back when you get there a couple of times. And then bringing the palms out in front, we're in our mountain pose here, nice strong pose. From here, come to the front of the mat if you're on a mat, and we'll just make sure you've got enough room behind you if you haven't got a mat. From here, we'll step back with the right foot, coming onto the ball of the right foot here. You want to check that your knees stand over your ankle, tuck in the pelvis. You might want to bring your hands to your waist just to check that those hips are nice and forward here. And on the next inhale, sweep the arms up for a high lunge. And from here, rotate the feet so we'll be facing the, the side of the mat. Bring the hands to the waist here. You can adjust your stance if you like. You want to keep a little bit of a bend in those knees. Straight line between the ankle and the toes. Really lift through the spine here on the inhale, so you're lengthening through the spine. And then from here, you can bring the hands behind you. Either you can take opposite elbows with opposite hands, you can clasp the hands like this if you like, or if it's available to you, you can interlace the fingers behind you and start to pull pull the, the arms back to really open up through the chest here. So start to pull back with the arms, open up through the chest and then on the next exhale pull the belly button in towards the spine and start to fold forward until the torso is parallel to the ground here. And we'll stay here for an inhale, start to lengthen through the spine, see if the hands can come to the, towards the ceiling should feel quite a stretch through the chest and the back here. And on the next exhale, see if you can fold forward a little bit more, dropping the head and the neck down, releasing tension in the head and the neck here. And then releasing the arms down to the floor. Should feel quite nice to release the arms. And then pull the belly button again so you really engage the core, keep that little slight bend in the knees, bring the hands to the waist, push through the floor, engage the core and slowly make your way back up to upright position. Here, just bring the heels in slightly so your toes are about 45 degrees angle here. As we come into this next pose, you just want to check that your knees are tracking in the same line as your toes here. So from here, start to squat down, <clears throat> keeping the back nice and straight, so you might need to tuck the pelvis, keep the hands on the waist, you should be able to feel the, the pelvis tuck here. And then bring the hands with the thumb, oh, hands to the thighs, thumbs facing forward. And from here, we'll take the right shoulder, dipping it in towards the left. Inhale back to centre and then the opposite way. And then coming back to centre. From here, we'll reach the arms up, start to straighten the legs, coming into five pointed star. And, from, and then from here, rotate into the opposite side of the mat. So coming onto the ball of the left foot, rotating the right foot forward, checking the knees stacked over the ankle. Keeping the arms sweeping up overhead, so we're back in a high lunge. And then stepping forward, arms down by the side, 
nice strong mountain pose. From here, start to roll forward again. So going back down to the mat, just rolling all the way down, coming onto the balls of the feet. You might like to bring the feet together slightly if that can help. That can help a little bit with the balance. And then wrapping the arms around the legs, dropping the head down. We're making our way into a ball of yarn. Start to breathe into the upper back here so it should feel quite nice. A nice release in the upper back. Then release the hands, release the feet, coming back down to the mat, so moving back into a seated position. Right. So we'll take eagle arms now. So there's a couple of options for this. So the first option, if we bring our arms out really wide, we'll take the left hand to the right shoulder, right hand to the left shoulder. So this is our first option for eagle arms. Trying to stack the elbows on top of each other, and we'll just be working here. Next option is to take the left hand in front of us, folding at the elbow, palm facing towards the right, and then the right hand comes under the left, folding under, bring the backs of the hands together here. So this is our second option. The third option is to bring the palms together. And then whichever option you've taken, you can start to lift the elbows slightly, creating space in the chest. This shouldn't be painful, but it is quite a challenging pose as a lot of us do carry a lot of tension in the, in the shoulders. So if you feel any pain at all, just slowly come out of it, maybe take one of the other options. And we'll just hold it a little bit longer. And exhale, release. Give yourself a couple of rolls of the shoulder. It is quite, quite a strong pose. And we'll take that on the opposite side, so arms out to the side. So the first option, right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right, so we'll be working here. Otherwise, we'll bring our right hand Bending at the elbow, bringing it out in front of us, take the left hand, cross it under the right, backs the hands together, or bring in the palms, the hands to touch. Again, if you like, you can see if you can lift the elbows, creating some space here. Try and keep the back nice and straight. And gently unwinding, coming out of the pose, giving yourself a couple of shoulder rolls, maybe in one direction, in the opposite direction. And just shaking it out a little bit. So next we'll make our way down to the mat. So bring the soles of the feet to the floor, just check you've got enough room behind you. Bringing the hands out in front, palms facing forward, and just see if you can roll down onto the mat. Pulling the belly button in to engage the core. See how far you can come. Bring the arms up and overhead if you've got enough space. Maybe straighten the legs out behind. Really stretch through the body here. Nice full body stretch. And exhale to release. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Cactus in the arms out to the side. And we'll just drop the legs over to the right. Gaze can be out over the left if it feels okay for the neck. And then inhale, come back up to centre, drop the legs over to the left, gaze out over the right. Now coming 
back to center and slowly start to make your way back up to a seated position. Bringing the palms back to the knees, we'll take a couple more shoulder rolls, this time rolling the shoulders forward a couple of times and back a couple of times. And that's the end of the practice. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you feel a little bit of release in the neck and the shoulders and the upper back. And um, hopefully I'll see you next week.